What's up guys, it's Cade. So I'm gonna tell you something you already know. Uh, yesterday the new features came out. Uh, the new featured crystal announcement, rather. Uh, we were on stream when it came out. And uh, read it, and then everybody um, just kind of freaked out. Because really, it's, it's a terrible, terrible announcement. Uh, now, uh, a lot of people put out videos on it right as it was coming out. And... Uh, then the sub-featured uh, pool came out, and so I just kind of wanted to collect everything into um, a video with my thoughts and uh, how I would suggest people handle things moving forward, because um, I got a lot of questions. I got a few on stream, and then got a few afterwards from um, um, old Alliance mates, um, a couple questions from our, our old feeder Alliance and all that via line. So anyway, I uh, wanted to kind of address that. So first of all, and I'm going to pop these up on the screen as uh, as we get going. I'm going to use my phone here to um, to kind of reference them. But basically the, the featured hero crystals, which used to be for a specific champ with a, again, it was an estimate, but uh, a one in four, one in five chance of getting the, the champ. Um, and there were always exceptions. Obviously, people got really, really unlucky on some of those. But... Um, that one's changing, and all of a sudden, uh, it's going to be a pool in very much in the way they've been adding to the basic. That's how they're going to handle the featured, except it's going to stick around for three months. So they're going to add six champs at a time. Let me double check that. It's six, not five, right? Um, the five star will feature, yep, the last six champions. Six champs at a time, and um, they're going to, the rest is going to be kind of a sub featured pool, but that pool you'll have an even chance of pulling any of those champions so a total of 24 champions with a 1 in 24 chance of pulling any of them and anybody who's a who's a kabam fan knows <laughs> or not fan follower um knows that um in any kind of new batch of six champs even for the basics um good months maybe two or three are champs that you wouldn't be bummed to, like you'd be excited to get uh and maybe one is like a labyrinth viable champ generally speaking uh, there's exceptions but um so not great a one in 24 chance at um all of those and i actually didn't uh, run the numbers on this one but let's say if two of those champs are champs you actually want to get uh it's not great uh so Let's um, let's talk about the sub-featured pool. So, the first batch of champs, and this is all starting on February 13th. Granted, they're going to finish out the Blade uh, run. Blade comes to the featureds on the 22nd. They would have had a mutiny on their hands, I think, had they had they uh, just kind of eliminated featureds before him with the community saving. But um, basically, the six that are coming first are Thor, Ragnarok, Taskmaster, Modok, Sentry, Void, and Hela. And then the sub-featured pool, out of which really, I mean, maybe some people want Taskmaster for D, people want MODOK for D, uh, Sentry is crap, uh, Void we haven't, we don't know enough about, it's seeming like he's going to be a good defender, and Hela is a decent damage champ. So, depends on what your goals are, but I'm not really rushing to get any of those, to be honest. So... The sub-featured is Beast, Storm, Cable, Cyclops, um, Marvel Now, the red one, uh, Agent Venom, Hawkeye, Ant-Man, Mordo, Thor, Jane Foster, Loki, Juggernaut, Phoenix, Ronan, Venompool, Nebula, Punisher 2099, Civil Warrior, and Doc Ock. Of those in the sub-featured pool, Doc Ock would be a decent pull. Um, Nebula for some. Um, champs like Hawkeye. Other than that, maybe Mordo for D. Other than that, you're going to be pretty bummed. So, needless to say, the old feature system, which people loved so much, is gone. And the new feature system that's replacing it is <laughs> pretty trash. Um, obviously, why they're doing this, they're, they're moving everybody. The, granted, we don't know the odds yet. So, fingers crossed that we get some, uh, some disclosure on, on odds. But um, the move is to make featured GMCs now the best best odds at getting a champ so obviously a one in five chance on a crystal that you could just save shards for was kind of harshing their mellow um so 
moving forward, they decided that uh, it made business sense for them to um, to do this, to move um, to the featured GMCs as their best uh, drop rate, I guess, for a specific champ, and change these completely. What does this mean for the community? It means, obviously, hashtag save for Blade. Uh, everybody should be saving for Blade at this point. Uh, I am glad that they, they decided to keep that going, that they're not... Uh, they're not um, eliminating the the blade featured, or they're not switching the new system before then. The new system will take um, will uh, be in effect on February 13th, but the old featureds will still be rollable um, for the up until the end of Blade. So 22nd, he's going to be there for two weeks, so early March ish. So um, so safe for Blade, obviously. Beyond that. It's going to be all basic, so hashtag basic life, can we make that a thing? It's uh, most of the, there's so many good champs in the basics now that uh, really I think you're going to see most of the entire community, unless they're big, big spenders and they roll featured GMCs, which you don't have to be a big spender to roll featured GMCs, a lot of people do. Some people get lucky, some people spend, you know, an Odin's on three stars. Um, it's, you know, it's a more... It's a luck-based system, if you will, and um, it's, you know, gambly, and it's not something personally, that's where I always drew the line. Um, granted, I did spend in the game, and I do, um, but on offers where you know what you're getting. I, uh, I have nothing against people who, who uh, buy featured GMCs or any, any sort of uh, who spend on Odins to get uh, crystals, but uh, assuming they're worthwhile crystals, but uh, it's just not something I do. So that's that's the move. That's what they're trying to uh, to do. I imagine much, a lot of their revenue is coming from those from featured GMCs ever since they got uh, introduced. So they're wanting to pump that up. So again, I'm kind of getting off topic. The plan moving forward is save for Blade. Once you've done that, once you've rolled him, duped him, whatever your plan is. The rest of your shards should go to basics. There's too many good champs in the basics now. Um, the new featured system is going to drop off dramatically. Um, I don't see... It's going to be a super low percentage of the community that even cares uh, to uh, to save 15k shards. Um, which I think they've said on the forums that they're keeping that that way. Uh, my first thought when this came out was they're going to change it. They're going to make it cheaper. That's the only way they're going to incentivize people to even care about these new features but um doesn't seem like they're doing that who knows might change in the future but um that's kind of going to be the thing so roll basics uh we might see a five-star featured arena too uh at some point no announcements not five-star featured five-star arena in general um but uh, nothing nothing about that so that'll be the uh the other way of acquiring champs it's just uh trading <laughs> trading your life for arena which is a much better system at least you know what you're getting and what you have to put in but um anyway that's uh, those are my thoughts so i just wanted to collect everything into a video um to kind of because i had had a, a few questions i know a lot of the the youtubers have covered this uh as well so i figured one more video um couldn't hurt and it might help some people out so uh thank you guys so much for watching um we'd love to have you as a subscriber if you're new to the channel Hit the like button if you uh, enjoyed the video, and as always, I hope to see you on one of the live streams. Thanks so much. Take care.